Hey friends and fellow bloggers, what is the best SEO plugin for WordPress? Hey, it's Squirrely. It is Squirrely. Yes, it is. Um, I've tried Yoast SEO and some other SEO plugins, but I've never had one walk me through optimizing my blog posts and all of my pages like Squirrely does. It's the most amazing plugin I have ever used. It really is. I mean, it'll blow your mind if you've never really done SEO before and you want one that's just plug and play. Well, this isn't really plug and play. It does take some work, but it shows you what you need to do and it just takes you step by step and it takes you, you know, and holds your hand all the way through the process so you can get a good optimized blog. I am so unhappy. I'm so happy. I'm so impressed. Let me just show you how it works. Okay, so this is their website, and uh, when you go to Squirrely, you go to our software, and uh, you would just download now. If you're in WordPress, you can just go to Plugins, Add New, and search for Squirrely. And there it is, SEO by Squirrely. <clears throat> you can see that it has over 10,000 active installs and like a four and a half star rating, 194 ratings. So I'm just going to go ahead and install this and show you guys how to use it and show you how easy it is and how good it is. I think you're, I think it's going to blow your mind because if you haven't really done SEO, this is going to be cool for you. Okay, so <clears throat> I just installed Squirrely on this blog. It's a WordPress that we built for someone. And uh, we'll just, you can just click here to get started after you activate it with your email. Here's the Squirrely dashboard. Use the keywords research tool from Squirrely to find the most suitable keywords for each post. Okay, so you can do this or skip. If I would, if I were you, <clears throat> I would just go through the steps. And over here on the right, it shows you your profile strength. And as you increase the SEO on your blog, this will rise up higher and higher. Okay, so this is trying to add a new post right now, so uh, we don't want to do that. Let's get out of there. Okay, so I'm going to go down to Squirrely and I'm going to go to Settings. All right. So, load Squirrely Live Assistant for anything that you want to run Squirrely on and have you and have it walk you through SEO, okay? We show Squirrely Always show keyword research about the selected keyword. I'm just going to go through these real quick. Okay. Now I'm going to go to SEO. And this is, uh, it's going to check for SEO issues with your site. So. We're going to switch SEO on. So this just starts with your basic, your basic settings. Okay. So we check for errors on your site. <clears throat> Boom. Complete the first page optimization. Let's do it. All right. Title. Okay. So this website is called Barcelona Spanish Lessons. So I'm going to put that in here. And then the description. Let's see what I have. I'm just going to go to our site and see what I have for a description. I'm going to put that over there.
Let's copy this in there. Okay. Good. 155 characters used out of 165 recommended. Now, put in some keywords. Barcelona Spanish lessons. Barcelona Spanish courses. Barcelona Spanish teachers. Barcelona Spanish classes. Okay. <clears throat> Looks good. All right. Yes. Add the social open graph objects for good looking shares. I'm not going to worry about Twitter because we don't really do much with Twitter. Um, I don't really have this person's social profiles. Um, social media. Link your stuff. Okay, I don't have all that right now, so we're not going to do that. The, the main thing I want to show you is how to optimize a post or a page. And we're going to get to that real quick. Okay. Let's check again to see if there's any conflicts. And you can see our squirrely SEO, our star rating is coming up. All right. <clears throat> All right, now that it's installed, I'm going to go back to our pages. And we're just going to optimize one real quick. Okay. So let's go to, I'm going to optimize the about page. And now that it's installed, you're going to see some new settings over on the right and options. Takes a second to load. All right. Here is optimize for keyword right here on the right. And let's see about Barcelona Spanish lessons. Mm, I'm thinking. So let's just do Barcelona Spanish. See what comes up. Okay, it says Barcelona Spanish School classes. Let's try lessons. Yes, there we go. Barcelona Spanish lessons. And then it says use this keyword. So hit that. All right, now it's going to give you some images if you want to use some images. Ready to speak Spanish? Yes. Let's do that. Now it throws the image over here. Right? And what I want to do is put that. I like to align it to the left of your content. And I might make that a little bit smaller. That really doesn't have anything to do with SEO, but it's going to tell us what to do. <clears throat> it suggests using an image, and that's part of your SEO strategy. So we got an image in here. Now, down below, these are all the things that we need to fix. If they're in green, they're good. If they're not green, you got to fix it. Okay, so where it says domain, keyword is present in the URL. Okay, so it's not. So now we need to go up here and change the URL. So we need to do about Barcelona Barcelona Spanish lessons. See now it gives you a nice green bar. It says everything's okay with that. <clears throat> Next thing it says title is Google friendly. More keywords. Add one more keyword. Okay, so the title it's talking about down here. this title. So if I hit update, <clears throat> okay, it's still saying we need to fix it. So we're going to customize this title. 
about Barcelona Spanish lessons. Content is Google friendly now. Now this description says it's too long. So let's do hello. There we go. We got that just right. We're going to put an open graph image in here. And let's do this one. Save changes. Okay, so that's done. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, everything's in green except for the snippet and human friendly. Add the keyword in the introduction of your article. You can click on that. Okay, it doesn't really highlight it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it did. Okay, so let's just do this. Let's do that right there. There. Now it says human friendly. And everything is good over here except this snippet. Title is Google friendly over optimized. Add one more keyword. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to add any more keywords. Okay. We're just going to go with that for now. Take that little bit of spacing out of there. Okay, so everything is pretty much in green. This article is basically optimized for Google. It's suggesting that we add more keywords, but I'm not really going to. I'm just going to go with the one right now, Barcelona Spanish Lessons. And I am going to update, and this page is now optimized with Squirrely. It's the coolest thing in the world. It works so good. And now you have an article or a page that is completely optimized for Google. Awesome. And it really works. So if you like it, I am going to put a link below the video where you can get this. And yes, I am an affiliate with Squirrely because I love them so much. So there, it's possible I might make a commission if you buy this. But uh, I guarantee you will like it if you get it. And if you don't, uh, return it for a refund but I guess I guarantee you won't. Thanks. Hope it helps.